Hi, I'm David Allen. I'm the Wine Director at Wine Searcher. What follows is based on a presentation I gave as part of the Great Wines of the Southern Hemisphere event at the Chengdu Wine Fair in March 2017. It attempts to show demand trends for quality wines in China. So what can we tell you about Southern Hemisphere wines and how they fare in the Chinese market? When I first looked at this topic, I had wondered if there was much we could share. The difficulty of translating wine names consistently between Chinese and English means we have not collected lists in Chinese. Our listing data is limited, though we do have listings from over 700 businesses working in China. The stronger data we have from China is search data, with 1,032,098 logins coming from China in the 12 months to March 2017. To put this in context, this is more than we get from the Netherlands, but less than from Switzerland. It's also worth noting that in the same year we had over 1.6 million logins coming from Hong Kong. As we shall see, this situation is changing. Here's a visualisation of the searches we saw coming from Chinese locations in 2016. The graphic shows them by city as they build through the year. Searches we see come primarily from four cities. It will not surprise people that site visits were from Guangzhou 11%, Shenzhen 8%, Shanghai 21% and Beijing 16%. Chengdu, where this presentation was given, made up 1.35% of site visits. This graph shows the growth in searches on WineSearcher between 2014 and 2016. Broadly, you see overall searches growing. Those in China are growing a little faster than those in Hong Kong, which are starting to fall back against the global trends. I don't have a graph for this, but when I looked at the numbers of sessions as opposed to individual searches, the picture was even clearer. In the four years 2012 to 2016, the number of sessions globally grew by over 70%. The number originating from Asia doubled, and those originating from China grew by 110%. It is worth noting that in this period the number of visits to the site made by users in Hong Kong rose by just 56%, in effect falling back behind the global trend. An examination of the Chinese market should first highlight the colour balance of the wines sought in the market. The title of Warwick Ross and David Roach's 2013 film Red Obsession still provides an appropriate strapline for this slide with white wines never constituting more than 20% of searches from China in the preceding year. Please note, as this split is by variety, rosé wines are included in the red total. Here we compare the grape varieties and blends searched for from within China with those from Hong Kong and globally. China is less interested in Bordeaux blends than Hong Kong, but more so than the rest of the world. The popularity of Pinot Noir is pretty consistent worldwide. Just to be clear, these will include searches for Burgundies. China is more interested in Nebbiolo and Sangiovese than Hong Kong. The proportion of searches for Nebbiolo from China outstrips its global position, and China is less interested in Champagne blends. Syrah and Shiraz and the Southern Rhone blends are doing well here. Their combined totals at 8.5% of the Chinese market compare to 6.3% globally or 5.99% in Hong Kong. These are the searches for wines by country of origin from the same three markets. Again, China sits in between Hong Kong and the rest of the world, being less dominated by searches for French wines. The USA can be seen to be relatively weak in the Chinese market, with Italy quite strong and Australia and Chile outperforming their global popularity in this market. We were asked to look at the position of premium and boutique wines in the Chinese market. There are difficulties in defining these terms objectively, so instead we looked at price bands. Our methodology was to pick out the 100 most searched for wines from the Southern Hemisphere in relation to searches coming from China. We converted the price to US dollars and split them into six groups. 5 to $24, 25 to $49, 50 to $79, 80 to $119, 120 to $300 and $300 or above. This is how the 100 most searched for wines from China performed globally across the last six months. The two spikes in the G1 wines map closely to La Monedo Reserva Malbec from Chile. First, it's winning the best varietal red under £15 in the Decanter World Wine Awards. Then the second spike shows it being released by Walmart in the US. Other than demonstrating how closely our data can map to real events, this global picture doesn't really show us very much. Looking at Hong Kong, 
there is a lot of interest in expensive wines at most premium price points, but noticeably less interest in entry-level wines. Looking at China, we see a very different picture, with the G3 group the outstanding price point for searches. I said earlier I thought boutique wines were hard to define. It's a subjective decision and includes elements of limited production and being handmade that define them as well as just price points. But if you want to define the sort of price point boutique wines operate in, this is probably where you're going to find a large number of them. Also note, the entry-level wines of the G1 group are clearly well in the mix here, in stark contrast to the Hong Kong market. Just to quantify wine searchers' role as the search engine globally for wines, we display about 8 million wine offers on our website, comprising half a million individually identifiable wines, with 4.7 million users a month accessing the website showing published prices for over 20,000 active merchants and auctions in 114 countries, so we gather lots of market data. We can examine wine availability through numbers of listings, showing how wines move through the distribution channel or revealing potential markets. We have plenty of pricing data, for example highest, lowest or average prices by sector or wine in individual markets and globally, showing competitor positioning or helping owners see who's discounting their brand. We have several years worth of this data, helping to plot changes. Unlike most other data available, we can see consumer demand through the number, type and location of searches conducted, indicating market trends. So I hope this gives you some insights into the demand for wines that we see coming from China relative to demand globally, and relative to the more established Hong Kong market. French wines dominate here, but not to the extent they do in Hong Kong. Wines from Australia, Chile, New Zealand and Germany exceed their global market shares, while California lags behind its global coverage. The analysis of wine prices searched for shows receptiveness to price points that are likely to comprise distinctive, high-quality wines that will have character and individuality. But this interest is not simply concentrated on the classic wines of the old world. The Chinese market is more receptive to a wider range of imported wines than the more established Hong Kong market. Work done in China by Southern Hemisphere producers can clearly be seen, and the popularity of their wines seems likely to continue to grow.